afternoon just thought i'd put a short video up um explaining what that little video about a fishing reel was before it's a bit bizarre um bought this on ebay um it's a fishing rod pen and then a little spinning reel with it which is why i wanted it i wanted a spinning reel because i bought one of these before and had a little brass reel with it and it was awful awful reel so i wanted a little spinning reel you know it turns out so this one looked fine said it was aluminium and turns out that only the rod is aluminium um the outer casing of the rod the reel itself is plastic plastic reel um most of it yeah it's a, it's pretty much all plastic it's got a couple of things that but when i it, i thought well fine because i only want to use it for some small river fishing like brook fishing and stuff like that anyway so i put it all together and thought right okay it's fine it seems sturdy enough so i put it all together which i will do now like so and screw it all up tighten it all up on receipt of the package expecting well expecting it to work really and much to my delight <laughs> look at that nothing that 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 turns spins but that i i don't know what's going on inside there no idea so this the company i bought it off baxney baxney on ebay so um i'll put a link put the name in below um back to me so i sent them a message saying that the reel you sent me is broken could you send a replacement so they said to me um sorry for the inconvenience but uh could you do a youtube video showing us the broken reel but i'd send them pictures of the, the inside of the cog and that, that was all broken anyway so they said could you do a youtube video so i thought it's a bit weird because if i do a youtube video showing a broken product that they sold me but it's not going to go in STEM because even though I didn't mention them in the video, obviously, right? But, but I am mentioning them in this video now because of what they said after. So I showed them, put it all together, went like that, as you saw in that little video I did before. I showed them it's completely broken. You can tighten it up as much as you want, uh, open it up. It, this thing's rattling around inside here. Just, you know, okay, it's alright, broken. So I showed them, filmed it, showed them, said it's broken. So they sent me a message back, and this actually the moves in, told me to take it to my local repair shop and get repaired. At my own cost. <laughs> Incredible. I, this thing cost me a ten I posted. And they want me to take it to have it repaired. You know. If. It, it, how much would it cost me to have a, a reel repaired by somebody. You're probably, you're probably talking about 50, 60 quid maybe. To have it repaired. I, I, all I wanted was a replacement. I know I want the thing. I want the reel. But there we go. They, they told me to take it to a local repair shop. Incredible. So I sent them a message back saying. You know. Could, could you just send me a replacement because you probably bought these on Temu yourself for about 59 pence or something so there we are it's a bit weird company back back knee bought it off them <laughs> it's it just seems to be the done thing on ebay these days whenever you, you could just get sent broken stuff and it, it's it's all stuff bought on aliexpress and Temu and places like that isn't it and they're just selling it for a bit more it's just because i saw this and i thought oh it's a small spinning reel it's what i want i want a really small spinning reel it's actually not that small, not that small but uh, there we go. God bless you next time.